Rushmore, South Dakota. <laughs> to the presidential trail. <laughs> oh, there's a cave. No. That's okay. You gotta wear a mask. <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh, <laughs> and Carl turned around. <laughs> Let's go over here. They're over here. Oh, he's the first president, George Washington. Yeah. Some people loving it, some people hating it. 
So he thought, if I want my dream to come true, I'm going to need help. So he contacts those other three men on the mantle. The two men in the middle are politicians from South Dakota. The one next to them is a U.S. Senator. The one next to the Senator is U.S. House of Representatives. The man on the very end, opposite of them, is a businessman out of Rapid City. So these individuals, now there are others involved, right? it's not these four guys by themselves, but they're the leaders of all this. They will create a nonprofit organization. And the job of that nonprofit is to do two things raise awareness for the project and also raise money for the project. So pretty quickly they start getting a little bit of money coming in because America is fascinated by this idea. So once they get some money, they will go hire an artist to physically do the work. So it's not the artist's idea, he's hired to do it. That's him in the cowboy hat. His name is Kutzen Borgo. So Kutzen Borgo, brilliant man, brilliant artist, will come to the Black Hills, he'll go down into the needles, he'll take a look at those needles, and then reports back to the nonprofit organization, you know, this is not going to work. Those needles are too old, they're too fragile, they're too weathered. This is 